Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim and the pure Khajiit build and the Zero Armor playthrough. And we are here in Chilwin Depths. And this area is, as I mentioned, is just rife with shrooms. You can have shrooms coming out of your ears. We're going to collect everything as we go along. It's going to be a lot easier like that. Um, we are going to be dealing with Falmer, Frostbite Spiders, and courses and some high-level filmer too so be prepared what did I set uh, yeah I'm gonna need a torch too that would really help um, you're at it already eh, mr. fumble fingers no I want that as number five I want this as number eight there we go Okay, let's see what's going on here. I'm not going to collect any loot. I'm going to save all the room for the shrooms. And these about and you don't know it. And did Skyrim mess with my FOV? Did you mess with my FOV, Skyrim? Come on, fess up. I didn't do anything. All right, all right, all right. Just sometimes you do that. Okay, our first customer is just around the corner here. It's a frostbite spider right down here. Let's just sneak around and see if we can get a, a sneak shot on him. Uh, this is unusual. Do I hear him now? What the hell's going on in here? This is unusual. It's always here. There he is. Gotcha. Hanging back, waiting to ambush me, eh? Not this time. He gets to get up pretty early in the morning to get one over on the Slackster. Pretty early. Okay, so we're looking for uh, five spider... These web sacks. Which have spider eggs in. That, that's one. That's two. It'd probably be better if I just turn the torch off. Three, four, five, and there is always a high level two-handed weapon here. This time, well, it's random. This time it's a total piece of crap, so um, yeah, but sometimes you get something like, you know, Enchanted of the Orcish variety, something like that. Okay, so I don't feel like to looking much, too much around. Okay, lots of spiders in here. The little one there. Got him. Now don't go charging in. Just creep in and look up. And you see two big frostbite spiders waiting to drop in and surprise your ass once you get in there. So don't be fooled by that, okay? You can actually hit him up on the ceiling and get him to drop down and then you got you know you got it just back off keep your sneak status keep flying in those sneak shots yeah you're waiting to drop in on me weren't you I don't think so I don't think so next same deal shoot him on the ceiling let him drop in and then lay in those sneak shots. And he's down. Now, no, 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 not yet. Still not safe. There is one more. Off to the left here. Creep in. 
keep looking up and you be able to just barely get a line of fire on him if you kind of creep in like this. See, there he is right there, see? See right there? Yeah. Watch out for that. Yeah, aren't you glad you're rolling with the slackster? Keep you well informed of all these dangers. That's right, stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. Okay, now it's safe. Alright, this area is clear. Let's grab the goodies. And let me just have a little sip of my Joe here. That's right, Major Slack jacked up on caffeine, ready to rock and roll, strapped into the cockpit on a video production marathon today. After making a colossal error a couple days ago, I pumped out 13 videos without realizing that the mic sound had been disabled. 13 videos. I was like way ahead and I was like, I was so proud of myself. And then I discovered that uh, this followed a computer crash. I should have known this rarely happens. This happened to me before a couple of years ago. I just completely forgot. Computer crashed and it reset the settings on my recording software, turned off the mic sound and I just forgot to check it. And my recording software doesn't really have a way to check to see if your mic is on. It can tell you if you're recording or not easily while you're recording, but uh, yeah, I had no idea. So there I was, you know, recording away, pumping out the commentary, and the mic wasn't picking up a single word I was saying. Damn, damn, damn. So yeah, I'm in a major video production marathon today. I think we got everything in this room. Let's continue. Okay, we got some arachnid activity up ahead. Oops. Little guy right there. Gotcha. Not only is, is this cave rife with mushrooms, but uh, we have the green thumb perk, so we're getting double for every one we pick up. That baby right there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, two ways to go. You can go down that way, or you can take the underwater passage. This will lead to a chest, which may or may not have valuable loot. Jump loot. And do I have my luck picking ring on? I do. <laughs> that just reminded me. Okay, at least <laughs> at least I had it on for the for um for picking the lock on the chest. Okay, hang on, I'm getting a little turned around here. Okay, this will bring us out. Or did I just go back the same way I came? No, don't think so. 
Yep. This is where it, it's kind of weird. It comes out the other side. And there's a Thalmor up ahead. Oh my gosh. Back off there. Something else is excited up there. Let me just back off and try to regain my snake status. Okay, calm down. Calm. Let me just wait. Get the eye to stop flashing. It takes about 20 seconds. There we go. Okay. We got our sneak on again. There is a Thalma right there. I should be using my ebony bow. That is correct. Okay, so it's good. He has no clue what's going on. Okay, we got some more activity here. There's another Falmer there. I'm using that strategy that I described in other walkthroughs. When it comes to aiming the bow, I aim low and then acquire the target at the last second and then fire. Because Skyrim, as some of you may know, has a nasty habit of having the target move as soon as you aim at them. It's it's built into the I'm sure it's built into the uh, the game engine. I've noticed that many times. You aim at somebody and he moves. It's just way too much of a coincidence that it happens all the fucking time. And I've noticed that you can fool the AI if you aim low, like say the target's there, aim low, and then acquire the target, and then at the last second aim up at the target and fire. That way the AI doesn't have a chance to react to the fact that you're aiming at it and then having the, uh, the target dodge. Or move. And I already had the AI dodge, anti-dodge mod installed, but they'll still do, still do that, even still, I've noticed. That's not really a dodge, it's more like, you know, the AI just has the target move, you know. The dodge thing is like another thing, I'm sure a lot of you notice that when you're aiming somebody you, this happens after you fire. You fire, and then somehow, even if you're completely sneaky, completely hidden, the enemy knows enough to dodge your arrow right after you fired it. So that's what that AI projectile dodge, anti-dodge mod does. It takes that away, because I think that sucks, you know. Going into a lot of trouble to create a sneak character, and then you have to deal with that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not on my watch. Oh, hello. Okay, here we go. He looks a little aggressive. Let's get moving. Go over there. Come on, you know you want to add a boy. Get 
Gotcha. <laughs> I should be using some of these poisons. Okay, we got a trap here. Watch out. It's that pressure plate right there. Plus it is back. Okay, watch. That's what it's like. So basically you're pretty safe unless you're going really fast. We might be able to use this to our advantage. We get a Falmer there. It's a stalk it's a skulker rather. Okay. He's got magic, and that's one thing we're really weak on. Magic, he's weak to calm down. And they leveled up, and I can safely level up because I already used up my skill training purchase rates, and we have a spare perk point. Let's get this. Definitely. Okay. Packing on some more bow damage here. You can see it in effect already. Frostbite spider here as well. I don't want to waste the poison on him. Um, let's switch over to my Zephyr. There we go. <laughs> it's great having two bows. Down you go. And this is the big money cavern. One of the big money caverns. Okay, this is clear. Let's go shrooming. Look at all this, eh? Check this out. It's like a stoner's dream. cramming so many mushrooms close together and know Skyrim has a problem with this with being able to give you the prompt to uh, see do we want this yeah why not take the Falmer, the gold and the weak poison and the white cap and the staff of firebolts interesting eight pounds almost 400 gold uh, yeah I think that's worth it Even shrooms in the baskets.
out of the way there. You're harshing my shrooming. Sometimes trying to get the prompts see like when they pack them close together. No, okay, come on, give, give, give it to me. There we go. All right. Let's do an inventory. 33 bleeding crown, 67 blister word already. I like this. 62 new mirrors rot. Lots more to come. All right, put that away. Bow up and running. What have we got in the way of poisons? Let's put these frostbite venoms to work. Okay, I see a Falmer way off in the distance there. It's a skulker. Okay, a lot higher level Falmers than my previous practice runs because I uh, held off coming here. Are you, are you walking towards me? What's your What's your deal? Oh, it's a spider. Um, no, I don't want to waste. I want to waste poison on this little spider. I can wipe him out. There we go. Okay, back to the heavy hitter. Let's go in the dark here. There he is. Is this safe? Gonna find out. <laughs> Oops. Way to pooch out an arrow there, Slack. Okay, try it again. Go over there. Come on. You know you wanna. Gotcha. Uh oh. He's coming closer. Ah, He's still on me. You want a little shish kebab, huh? Because I'll, I'll I'll do that for you if you want. A nice little shish kebab trap, all ready for you to go. Come on back there, Skulker. Get some. That's what I'm talking about. Walk this way now. Let's provide a little entertainment for my audience here. You can hear that. I know you can hear. Here we go. I heard something. Yep, right there. Here we go. Yep. A little closer. A little closer. Closer and that was stronger. Closer. There we go. Dude! Dude! Oh man! As they say in the candy business, so long, sucker. <laughs> Whoops. Jeez! Jeez. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll just chalk that up as a Homer Simpson moment. Um, I was just testing it to see how powerful it was. Um, where are my... Uh, yeah, the... And another one. What do you got on you? Uh, these Falmer arrows really, really suck. 
I'm not gonna bother taking them on. Okay, I'm sure this is another skulker. You get special treatment. And I'm gonna take a blow damage potion as well. Get some. Okay, this area should be clear. And we're good. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.